Hello, hello, and hello to all of my Capricorns. This is Queen Amun Ra coming to you with your Freedom Friday message. This message is for the 12th of May through the 12th of June. Let's get into it. Let's get into it, Capricorns. Let's go. Let's see what your cards have to say. Let's see what your cards have to say, Capricorn. Let's see what's coming up. So we're in the last quarter moon phase in Aquarius. Even if it's Thursday, you're already feeling the effects of the last quarter moon phase. Uh, we have a last quarter moon phase in Aquarius. On Sunday, I gave people, everybody, questions. Every Sunday, there's questions, right? To help you to, to navigate through the week. The readings are the answers to those questions. So please pay attention. Set your, set your, um, your uh, notifications to all so you'll know when they go up. Because I know I've heard some people say they didn't get their notifications. So make sure your notifications are set to all so you don't miss them. So you never know what's in these readings that can be helping you through a work week, a personal situation, you know, those kind of things. So let's get into it. Let's get into it. Last quarter moon phase. So last quarter moon phase looks like if you look in the sky, it's going to look like the moon is cut in half. It's like it's halfway illuminated. So it's like your past is trying to pull you back to make sure you don't close out this phase within this cycle. Your future is calling. Hey, over here, you got a bright future, right? So you always want to land on the bright side or the light side of the moon, right? Not the dark side of the moon where you feel like, okay, I can't close out the cycle. I'm uncertain. Those kind of things, all right? So if there's any, uh, and also, uh, I got to make sure I try to remind everybody of everything. The uh, Make sure that you are landing on the bright side of the moon. Pluto is retrograde, and so is Mercury retrograde. Um, so clear messages are still coming up, you know, through your, through your universe about things from your past. Here we have the hang one. We have the eight of cups, the nine of cups. We also have the four of cups. We also have the everything is fine and every, and then also the ace of cups. I'm talking to you if you have Capricorn anywhere in your chart, including your, uh, including if you're on the cusp of Aquarius or Sagittarius, or if Capricorn is your MC or IC, Right want to know about those things it's on the second channel it's the knowledge channel the link is below in the description so sources of saying hang in there you weren't delusional about things in the past um you're definitely sources of saying everything is fine you're just going through a rebirth so rebirth is <clears throat> it can be tricky because you're thinking about it's like okay think about like a people who are you've heard about pregnant women you know looking forward to even if you've never had a baby or you you know even if you've never had a baby let me just say this and you you've heard about or been around you know women who are expecting a child there's this fear this anticipation everything is heightened there's all their senses are heightened and that's what a rebirth feels like because you're going through just remembering all the things that were said about you in the past, all the people you had to leave behind. Um, you're still picking up to some degree if they're connected to people that you're connected to and you haven't completely closed out these cycles, burning bowl ceremony, cord cutting ceremony, all those things. You, they could still be trying to come up in your spirit. And you may be like, why am I thinking about such and such? And why am I thinking of this? And why am I thinking of that? Sources saying this, that's the perfect opportunity for you to do the burning bowl ceremony. To, to write their name down, toss it into a burning bowl, say a or, or in a sink, you know, if you don't have a burning bowl and just say a prayer, I release this, I release this for good. I'm not trying to extend any olive branch to my past. I don't need any apologies for them. I don't need any closure from them. This is my universe and I'm not giving them the key to my universe to bring in more chaos, confusion, misunderstanding and that kind of thing. So I'm seeing like a lot of ruminating over some things, right? You know, expressing some emotions. Here we have the four of cups. Somebody is kind of like trying to hang in there. But again, source is saying to you, everything is fine. You know, those 10 swords mean a lot of things. It means you could be thinking about if I leave situations today behind, what are people going to think? What are they going to say? Um, again, are they going to run smear campaigns? Are they going to some degree, you know, um, ruin my, my credibility? Or is this going to, you know, you know, filter into my creativity? If it's going to mess up my money, those kind of things. If you're in any relationships like that, well, you got to think if I leave this relationship, this person is going to just like smear my name, drag it through the mud. You don't need to be in those kind of relationships. 
that's where you learn how very early on to pay attention keep certain things close to the cuff so that and, and, and but the bottom line is that i'm saying wish fulfillment for you right wish fulfillment for you so that's why source is saying you're not imagining things some people are just draining i mean I, there's just no other way to say it um one time a capricorn put a comment about a particular zodiac sign in the comment section and i I couldn't say anything. I mean, I've been reading cards for so long. I mean, they were spot on. Um, and I'm not going to say the Zodiac sign, but, but again, because it could have been just their experience with Zodiac signs, but there was a lot of truth to what this person with this Capricorn put under about a particular Zodiac sign. Um, they, they said, you know, such and such Zodiac sign, they're incredibly immature. They are better. They are such and such. I couldn't really say anything because, you know, they, that's exactly, they, 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 they were so spot on about the low frequency of a particular sign that they had dealt with and that there's nothing I could say. I mean, it's just, you know, bottom line is that once you get to a point where you are, this is, this is why all these memories are coming up about the manipulation and all of the stuff that you experienced in the past. Source is saying that's why for you, Capricorn in particular, is going to be, you're going to have to take it back to when you were a child. You all are a very, very wise sign. You all are just wired that way coming through the womb. You all are literally the father of the Zodiac and your card in tarot is, um, your ruling planet in tarot is Saturn. That's the world card. So you have to learn how to close out cycles and release things in love. I got to release it. If you're a manipulator, you manipulated yourself right on out of my life, completely out of my life, right? And be okay with that. Not looking for an apology, not looking for an explanation from them. It's literally like leaving your front door open and they can come in and out energetically anytime they want to. And you're wondering, why can't I stop thinking about this person? You could still have articles of their clothing. You could still be connected to people who are you know, connected to them in some way, like friends with them. Source is saying to you, that's why you're concerned that somebody's talking about you behind your back. But I'm telling you, God is saying to you, everything is fine. You don't have anything to worry about. Let them, let them create their own karma. Here we have the judgment card. Here we have the four of swords, the six of swords, the seven of swords, the eight of swords, and also the three of swords. All I can tell you looking at your cards here is judgment is in your favor. Sources saying to you, hang in there. You broke generational cycles, chains, curses. There are some people who are absolutely obsessed with you. When I say obsessed, it, that's not a healthy obsession either. I'm talking about like for real, something is wrong, right? It's two energies in particular. Two energies in particular um, that are obsessed. Um, and so it doesn't matter how long ago you talk to them or if they're currently in your life right now. Remember, we're dealing with spirits, not just the physical bodies. So if you've dealt with people from your past who ran smear campaigns after you cut them off or after you've moved on, some people are so, they have such this obsessive energy that you, if let's say you were going through a crisis. Let's say you lost loved ones and you didn't talk to them every single day. Let's say you all were talking on the phone every single day or you saw them on a regular basis and you couldn't even take time to process the loss of loved ones. They don't care about that because all they care about is getting their needs met. They need to, it's like, it's like you are their heir. They are completely obsessed. So source is saying to you, while you may be disappointed, move on from those energies, get your rest. Um, to keep thinking about it is giving life to it and it's self-sabotage. So I do see somebody moving on from something that was, um, you know, completely disappointing, completely disappointing um, to you. Um, but remember, source is saying to you that first card leading out is everything is fine. Everything is fine. Everything is fine. Every time you give air to it, it's just draining. It's, it's, it's really, really just draining. Um, let's see what else we got going on here. So last quarter moon phase. Here we have the two of wands. We have the seven of swords. We have the three of pentacles. We have the empress card, the wheel of fortune, and also the temperance card. 
So you are you are learning how to be in complete harmony with yourselves without dealing with other people's drama. They're constantly gossiping about people. Like if you listen to things early on where you meet people, um, Capricorn, that's how you're going to start returning back to pure consciousness. Like I said, you all came out of the womb very, very wise until people told you all to stay in a child's place, right? So now that you stayed in a child's place and now that you're an adult, go back to that level of wisdom, listening to your intuition. You're not delusional. You're not going crazy. Use that. Use that to dream bigger. So once source shows you something, and we're not talking about once God shows you, when I say God, you, God inside of you, shows you a pattern of behavior with some energies. When they're around certain people, they're constantly trying to isolate you from everybody else. They got a problem with every single person that you like or that you love. You give them compliments. They always in competition mode. You're dealing with, you're dealing with some serious demons. You know them. They're demons, right? Don't worry about what they say. They will talk themselves right into a tower moment. Their intentions will put them in a really horrible karmic situation. So here we have the Empress card. Somebody is definitely going through a rebirth right now. And so Source is saying to you, Seven of Swords, you walked away from a lot of manipulative energies, right? A lot of manipulative energies. You could have physically moved away. You could have physically, you know, entered into new friendships new working relationships, new such and such. But a lot of you all have walked away from a lot of situations. You got a lot of ancestors around you. Like I said before, this is a lot of sword energy, you know, helping you to move on from some situations. You don't have a reason to be afraid, nervous, none of that. And like I said before, if you got if you got relatives that's still alive today and you feel like, okay, there's safe space and they, they can keep their cool and be calm and collected to just kind of show, just like, you know, be there if you need them, make a put in a phone call. Put in a phone call. Everybody's not on that violent energy, right? Some people, they just need the presence to be there to show other people that you're not by yourself, right? That you don't, you don't, you know. But like I said, you got a lot of ancestral help. Here we have the Wheel of Fortune. We got the Wheel of Fortune. So all the time that you put into something, source is saying to you because your money is in perfect alignment, it's all coming back to you. Some of you all may be on the other side of that. What I mean by it is that let's say, for instance, you weren't able to close out something from a past relationship, like let's say a past job or whatever, and you came out of a horrible you know, uh, relation, I mean, a relationship in your job. Your manager was just all over the place, just a mess. You know, trying to trying to just ruin your reputation, just doing all kinds of stuff. Your colleagues act like they were confused, all of that. And you're in your new job. That's a new relationship. And everything is fine. You know, you feel like, okay, I feel much better. Those kind of energy. Pluto will bring all of that back up to the surface to remind you to pay attention to the energies around you so that you don't have to go through those same things again. That's the beauty of planets going retrograde. Mercury is the messenger planet. So it's sending you messages, okay, canvas the energies around you today. You're not paranoid. You're not going crazy. None of those things. Source is saying, you know, I'm, I'm trying to send a message to you. Make sure the energies around you pay attention. You've gone through this kind of stuff before. You, you, I'm showing you if there's any spirits around you right now, Capricorn. If it's like that, you're not going crazy. You're not trying to throw yourself back into that same type of energy. But anyway, here we have the Two of Wands. You have so many opportunities coming your way to meet new people, apply for new jobs, you know, date new people if that's what you want, make new friends. So many opportunities. It's like you have the whole world in front of you. So whatever, whatever or whoever you're leaving behind, Source is saying everything is fine. Just get your rest. Get your rest. To overthink it is self-sabotage. It really is. It's just self-sabotage. Let's see what else we have here. Like I said, even your money is in perfect alignment, which means even if you're working a job and you want to start a business, it's a perfect time to do it. Absolutely perfect time to do it. Here we have the Queen of Swords, the Star card. We also have the Judgment card. We also have the Strength card. We also have the Fold card and also the King of Cups. Star card came out. Somebody is moving forward optimistically. Um, um, you're moving forward hopeful, happy, blissful, those kind of things. You may have felt foolish in the past, but not anymore. You've changed your, you've changed your mindset when it's come to things. Here we have the queen of swords 
And so be grateful for the people around you that help you with closing out cycles because Queen of Swords energy, like somebody around you could be teaching you how to go ahead and close out cycles and don't step down off of your throne again. Like they're teaching you how to vet all the energies around you so that you don't have to go back through those same cycles. Source is saying to you, you know, tap into your strength, you know, keep your lion L-I-O-N, any pride, any arrogance at bay. You know, sources saying judgment is in your favor. Again, um, you have, uh, you know, things are in your favor. Like I said, you're breaking through generational cycles, chains, and curses. This card is attached to Pluto. So somebody could do be doing a double cleanse, right? You could be a, doing a double cleanse, releasing some energies from your past. There could be some energies around you right now. Like somebody is really awakening to their higher self. And so judgment card, you could feel like, you know, you're by yourself for a minute. But it's what, it's what God's way of saying, okay, now that you're going through your rebirth, it's going to give you some time to think not sit there and kind of harbor on all the negatives and what people said. It's just for a need to know, you know, just kind of need to know. King of your emotions, king of creativity. I'm talking to you, whether you're a man or woman, Capricorn, king, king of that energy. Like it's like the, you're the top of your creativity. That's what's going on. And on top of that, you're extremely smart, extremely smart. So you're, you're returning back to returning back to who you were as a child with the wisdom that you came into the earth with, that childlike faith. You're returning to that. I need to rely on my intuition. I don't need to have control over people around me. If you want to leave my life, hey, I'm helping you pack your bags. If you don't want to be my friend anymore, I'm helping you out of my universe. It's all love. It's all good. Your cycle has been completed in my life. And so it's time to move on. So again, um, somebody could be ruminating over something, but I'm seeing wish fulfillment for you. And so be careful of what you wish for. Be careful of what you wish for. Um, here we have the sun card. We have the hang woman. We also have the six of swords, the wheel of fortune, the devil card, and also the seven of wands. So I do see, like I said before, the devil is like, you know, really, really trying to see what your demons are. Um, and like I said before, if your demons is fear, doubt, uncertainty. Um, there's so many different types of demons, any kind of addictions, food addiction, sex addiction, out, I mean, substance addiction, addiction, uh, any doubt about your own future in any way, whether it's whatever it is. If I cut certain people off, what's going to, you know, what are they going to do? What are they going to say? They probably will run a smear campaign. They probably will talk about you. They probably do whatever, but that's what tower moments are for. So they put all that energy into negativity. That tower is going to fall on them. You, the information is coming across your, 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 your information is coming across and sources saying, put your energy towards your purpose. That's what this is. Stay in your light, put your energy towards your purpose. That's where the healing is. That's where everything is going to speed up. That's where you get a chance to see exactly when they had access to your universe, you're, you're even going to be able to see if that door is still cracked wide open, you know, like, I mean, cracked open, like there's a crack in the door where they can still come in energetically. You'll be able to see all of that. So source is saying to you again, hang in there. You're going to be just fine. You know, you're just learning right here. We have the six of swords, you know, and so the six of swords came out twice. Somebody is, you know, moving on from something, just kind of like an uphill climb. Um, but again, that's why I give you all the questions on Sundays. The answers come out through the readings. If you really, really pay attention here, we have the wheel of fortune. And so, like I said before, you know, see this card right here. There's like money flying all over the place. And then this wheel is like sources saying to you, this is really, really, it's like double your time. This is your year. This is your time. Some of you all could be married to your person after, you know, being in, um, being in relationships that just didn't work out for you in the past. Make sure all of those relationships are closed out airtight. Some of you all could have, um, 
you know, left behind some friends in the past, make sure you put that list together of what your definition of a friend is so that when you got new people in your inner, your new energy, you can pay close attention to see if there's any triggers in these new relationships, but make sure those other ones are closed out airtight. So I do see you being able to defend your decision to move on from something without coming across as defensive. What that may look like for some of you all is really developing some kind of discipline, some kind of routine where you're sitting down and meditating and you're seeing yourself remembering what you had to come through and all the all the fire that rose up in your spirit, and which means that some of you all could have felt bullied. Some of you all could have had low self-esteem. Some of you all could have um, been unclear about where you stood in some people's life. Close out the cycle. Close it out. Close it out airtight. You don't, you don't really have time. You don't want to make time for that kind of energy because it's, like I said, it takes away from your money. It burns into your money. It cuts into your money. And again, I'm not just talking about paper and coins money. I'm talking about it cuts into your current relationships. It, it just, you know, leaves people looking like they can't trust you, even if you're not up to anything, you know, any wrongdoing. Pay close attention. So again, you have a lot of ancestral help around you, a lot of ancestral help you know, around you. Let's see what else we got going on here with Sun card again. We have the Two of Cups. We also have the Five of Wands, the Queen of Swords, the Six of Swords, and also the Nine of Wands. So, uh, the Queen of the Queen of Swords came out twice. Again, somebody is definitely on their throne, vetting all the thoughts that come through your mind. We also have the Six of Swords came out three times. Um, there could be three situations that you're saying, I need to move on from. I need to finally move on from, physically move on from. We have the Two of Cups. And so the Two of Cups, again, we're talking about soulmate energy. Source is saying to you, stay in your light. It's like really reiterating staying in your light. You're already on the other side of this long journey. You're not going to go back through people who you feel like you're not going backwards to people that you know, gossip all the time. They always got to keep some mess going that you're not going back to those energies because of this right here. They're still in their own personal hell. They're trying to reach back through. That's why some people feel like, why can't I stop thinking about certain people? And like, why is such and such coming up in my spirit? Why am I thinking about so-and-so? Because you haven't closed out the cycle. You have still a crack in your foundation. Maybe you, you feel like you need a some kind of closure. Some Maybe you feel like you need an apology. Maybe you feel like you need greater understanding. And it's coming from the very energies that irritated your demons. Why in the world would you want to answer from the devil when the devil is the author of confusion? You got to ask yourself, like, why would I want, why would I go back to confusion for an answer for anything? I don't need your answer for anything. I already see a pattern of behavior. Right. So anyway, that's what I'm saying for you all. This is great because, again, like I said, you're using your intellect. Somebody's been thinking a lot about a lot of things, but things are already in your favor. Sources like it's two situations in particular. Again, you're breaking generational cycles, curses and chains. And so you you can move ahead. You can you can really, really move ahead in love. And I'm talking about agape love. 333. Three, three. Say to yourself, I am powerful. You are being called upon to use your spiritual gifts, Capricorn, as a light worker, assisting all of humanity. Live your truths and be positive, be a positive light to others. 333. So somebody could have had three situations in particular from your past. It could have been more than that because we have so much sword energy here, but it's three it could be three in particular that you moved on from with sources like, you know, learn the lesson. That number three right here, see this 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 part of the three right here is bulging moving forward. It's saying be positive about your future. Um, be optimistic, blissful about your own future. You've left you left all that other stuff behind. You left it all behind. So there's a lot of water here in the cards. Um, a lot of water. Let me see. In your major arcana. Well, I would say it's a healthy balance of water. There's definitely expansion here in your cars. Lots of expansion in your cars. Source is saying to you, your future is really, really bright. So whatever you had to leave behind, don't let your past jeopardize what you have going on right now in your life and also your own future. So don't let... If you're currently in a relationship with somebody, you feel like this is a great relationship for me. 
and you feel like, okay, I still need answers from a past, an ex, or something like that, you got to be real careful with that because how do you explain to somebody you're currently in a relationship with, whether it's a friendship, a job, or something, while you, why you are still connected to your past? That's kind of hard to explain. And then you got to put yourself in other people's shoes too. Let's say you're on a job and you're zoned out about the past job and your manager is like, well, where is this such and such? Like I thought we had a due date. We agreed on such and such. Oh my God, you know, my mind is all over the place and I was thinking about such and such. Leave that job in the past. Leave that romantic relationship in the past. Leave that friendship in the past so that you can be present, so you can pay attention, so you don't have to create, you don't have to keep um, re I mean, re, you know, throwing yourself into these karmic cycles. A good stone for everybody to have during this last quarter moon in Aquarius is fluorite. This is fluorite. Like these are different types of these right here. Fluorite. These right here. Fluorite is a great um, stone for focus, productivity, creativity, and anti-inflammatory. So a lot of times when we're talking about your emotions in these moon phases, a lot of times when people don't feel nurtured, you know what, they don't they don't feel nurtured and they they feel like there's still something in the past that I haven't closed out that cycle. I still don't understand like what's what happened. You may reach for something, you know, unhealthy and it could inflame your joints because again, the moon is also connected to our eating, right? So it's 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 connected to your intuition, your feelings, subconscious habits, moods, emotion. And if food is one of your demons or one of your addictions, you're going to reach for something that's going to inflame your joints. So it just it, it just has such a it has such a horrible effect when you don't close out cycles. That's what Source wants somebody to do is close them out airtight. If it's over, let it be over. You don't need to know where to wonder where the person is. If it's coming up, that's God's way of saying hello. I need you to close out that cycle. Be in the present moment, right? Stress. I release what I cannot control. I release tension in my body. I relax my jaw and unclench my teeth. I allow my shoulders to be heavy. I breathe in gratitude and exhale pressure. Stress is temporary. I welcome stress-free days into my life. I am counting my blessings. Great things are happening to me because they are. Don't mess it up by, by still wanting some answers from the past. Go to God, ask God, but close it out. Close those cycles out. Again, everything is fine. Like I said, you got a lot of ancestral help around you. Your money is in perfect alignment. This is a great time to apply for positions. This is a great time. Matter of fact, during the last quarter moon phase, the last quarter moon phase encourages everybody. It's a time of um, introspection. This is when you look back on all you've achieved and accomplished and reflect on the lessons of the moon that the moon has taught you over the last cycle. Some of the things that you can focus on during last quarter moon phase is take time to reflect on the lessons of this lunar cycle. You can do things that rejuvenate you. You can clean up your house, you know, like clean out that space, you know, your spiritual house and your physical house, like do a deep cleanse, like cleaning of your house, you know, um, see if there's anything around your house that, that has energy attached to something from your past, get rid of it, pack it in a box, get rid of it. Um, here we have, uh, you can prioritize self-care and rest. You can also find activities that bring you a sense of peace. Some people also get a haircut during the last quarter moon phase. To, that'll help draw energy back into the body. So that's what I have for you, Capricorns. Like I said, everything is fine. You don't have to keep overthinking things about the past and how come I don't understand this and this kind of thing. If it's in the past and you're loving your life where you are right now, you close it out. So that you can, you know, you can be present. Make sure you don't miss anything about the people that's in your life right now. You don't want to keep throwing yourself in those cycles. But that's what I have for you again. Happy Freedom Friday. I will see you on Sunday. Bye.